So in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import purchase orders into QuickBooks Online using Z-Axis. Before I start though, let's just define what a purchase order is in QuickBooks Online. So here I've opened a purchase order in QuickBooks Online. You need to make sure that you do have purchase orders switched on in your company file and you have the correct level of QuickBooks Online. So here is a purchase order. Now it is a request to a vendor to supply items to the business. And these are normally sent out and then the vendor will fulfill them and ship them back to QuickBooks, which will then convert the purchase order into a bill. So how do we import, say, spreadsheets or text files or even IIF files that may contain purchase order data into QuickBooks Online in batch? And that's what I'm going to show you with Z-Axis. So the first step in the process is to open Z-Axis on our desktop and connect to our QuickBooks Online company file. So we paste the tokens in here and save and Axis will connect to your online QuickBooks Online company file. There's no restrictions to the number of company files that we can connect to. Next, click on the Import tab, and we're going to browse to the file that contains the purchase orders that we want to upload into QuickBooks Online. Now, I've got some sample files here that I'm using, which I've created previously, and these are in text format, but we also support Excel or IIF as well as CSV or tab delimited. First, what you'll notice is that the data is arranged with a header row across the top and then repeating rows underneath of the purchase order data. Next, we'll select and add a new mapping. We select the transaction type as purchase order. And then we're going to go through the process of mapping the columns in our import file to the corresponding fields in QuickBooks Online. So what you'll notice in this box here are all the fields on a purchase order in QuickBooks Online. And then corresponding here, we have the columns in our import file. Now you don't need to map all of these. I'm just going to map a selection of them. Um, but the ones marked in yellow are mandatory in order to create a purchase order in QuickBooks Online. So once I've mapped all the relevant fields, I'm going to give the mapping a name. And, and then save the map so that we can reuse this on subsequent imports. Now, once the map's been applied, you'll see that the top row has changed to the label for the field name in QuickBooks Online, and only the columns that we've mapped will be displayed. And these are the only the columns that we brought into QuickBooks. There are more advanced features that we can set such as using auto numbering or um, updating address details in QuickBooks Online. We can also skip purchase orders if they already exist or overwrite them. So once we're ready, quick we click on import. Access will validate the data to make sure that any missing items are created and any missing vendors. And they'll go through and then import the purchase orders directly into QuickBooks Online. If you do get an error message, it'll be displayed in this box here. So once these are complete, um, we can click on the view and we can see those directly in QuickBooks Online, the purchase orders that we've just created. So there we have one purchase order, 6002. Now back in here, we also have the opportunity to undo if we want to roll back that import as well as undo all so we can reverse the import if we need to change something and then reattempt the import later. And when we finish, we just click on close here. So very simply, that's how you can use Z-Axis to upload um, Excel sheets of purchase orders or text files of purchase orders in batch into your QuickBooks online company file.